It's the beginning of January and I am in the middle of Ohio. So the weather is calling for a snowstorm this weekend. This video, the majority of it was recorded and then uploaded to you on Thursday, January 4th. The 5th is going to come and then I think on the 6th and the 7th they're calling for snow. So I've got to get to the stores and get as much inventory as I can because if we're going to be snowed in or if it's going to be hard and treacherous driving around, I'm not going to want to be in any of that weather. So I'm going to get what I can get today. You're going to see that here shortly. And then I will source also on Friday and then I'll try to upload that maybe on Saturday or so. We'll see how uh, the numbers go, see how everything goes. But I have to get inside the thrift stores because I do not want to be locked out with nothing to list. So let's get moving. I thought this was a pizza oven when I first looked at it. $16, but it's an air fryer. You've never seen an air fryer like this from Ninja? And the grates and stuff on the inside for $16. I don't know, it doesn't look like it'll take a ton of cleaning. It might be a good pickup. I'm not afraid to ship big, big items here. I'll plug it in before we leave, just to make sure that it's working. But it looks like these sell pretty good, pre-owned. So I'm thinking maybe 75, 70 to 75 dollars for it. It looks like it's working at first glance, but I'll plug this in. I, I feel like if you're not afraid to ship heavy items, because this is definitely a little bit heavier, this would be a good pickup for most people. It's um, like I already even I can already even see the box that it's gonna fit in. So this would just be you know bubble wrap and send it on its way. Really not that bad. Nice and sturdy, pretty heavy. But yeah, I think I'm gonna grab it for 16. That's not too bad. I think I can get 75 for it. If you have anybody from Boston, if you got any Red Sox fans, make yourself known in the com comments. Shout out to you. Shout out to Massachusetts. So I picked up this bat just because I pick up most bats just to look them up. And I went into Terapeak. They got it at four dollars. This Red Sox World Champions. World Series Louisville Slugger Bat sold for 120 in 2001. So I might just do the same thing. I might take it, price it at 120, see if I get any bites. But you are a Red Sox fan. It's a pretty cool piece. Make yourself known in the comments. I'm taking it. I feel like with Todd's, it's always so hard to see on the insole that they are Todd's. The sole doesn't give you any information. It's just sitting here on the end. And these are pad leather tasseled. I haven't looked up the style yet. What size are they? They're a size 40. I don't know whether that's a 10 or what. But if you didn't know that Todd's was a Bolo brand, keep your eye out for it. Uh, I will put comparables on the screen if I can find good ones because just looking at it right now, I haven't done any research. I just know that if I see Todd's, I'm gonna pick them up. These are probably gonna need to be cleaned a little bit. They're not in perfect condition, but they're also not terrible. I mean, I think they're certainly sellable. So patent leather, maroon, Todd's, very good brand for resellers. Put it on your radar if you didn't know already, but I'm gonna grab these. These are gonna cost me, I think $5.70 this is a good pickup. You circle the wagons long enough and like things like this just kind of fall into your lap. Three, three ninety nine. dollars I don't know why I picked it up. I, actually, I do know why, because it was sealed. Really the only reason, because this doesn't look like anything, but there's a lot of sold comparables to go on. So for $4, maybe I can sell this for $30, $35. Brand new, sealed, I'll take it. See if we can find anything else here. Puzzles that are, these are fun. Little cereal. I ate thousands of bowls of these when I was little. Anybody else? These ones, not so much because they were kind of gross. Lucky Charms, all day long, Cocoa Puffs. And I promise you like the sight of these right now, kind of make me want to throw up. I ate so much Honey Nut Cheerios when I was little. Delicious. If you see this one, pick it up. Billy Joel Greatest Hits Volume 1 and Volume 2. There's the UPC code. I forget what these are going to cost. A dollar, two, two dollars. If I can do this with one hand. Sorry. I'm a one-man show here. The record looks clean, right? Well, actually, there's two of them, so we got to check the other one. Let me check the back, but this is going to be a really good find because I think it looks good. I think I can get maybe 50, 60, potentially even 70 if it, I don't think I can, I can mark it near mint. So maybe very good plus everything else looks pretty good, but this is a really, a really good find. And this is an area I don't, 
I don't frequent all that much because a lot of it's just like this. If this is a bolo, I'm gonna sound so stupid. But you guys get what I'm saying? Like I don't check this area that much for um, records and maybe I, maybe I should do this oops, a little bit more than I do. But if you see that Billy Joel one, that is definitely a bolo. Keep your eye out for it because yeah, I think 50, 60, 70 dollars, that's a good find. I hate what I'm holding right now. Now I, I love what I'm holding, but we have problems I don't think I can overcome here. This is a Seiko Melodies in Motion Clock. If you've been following me for over a year, I sold one of these last year. I had it in one of my videos actually. But um, $25, we have two major issues right here. The first one is this huge crack on the bottom. I don't know that I can overcome, I, mean, I think in some cases I could overcome that. But I don't think that I can clean or that I'm going to clean the rust issue that we're having here. Now, yeah, you can probably pop those out and put new ones in there. But am I going to be the one to do that? I don't think so. I can clean it to a certain point, but I don't think I can overcome this. So I'm guessing that it wouldn't work. And I could buy it and return it. But with all that going on, to get maybe $100 for it, at the maximum because of this crack at the bottom. I think I have to leave this behind. This is too bad too, because this, this is nice. I sold, the one I sold was like 200 or 250, but you know, this is like one of those things that's like super, it should be super obvious for most people if you saw it on a cart or on a, um, on a shelf or something like that. So keep your eye out for it if you've never seen it before, but I'm leaving this behind because of the damage and the fact that I don't think I can clean the back. I just picked this up and I looked at the comps, I think I saw one that just sold for $55. This, it's funny, sometimes they, or I shouldn't say sometimes, in this store, they happen to mark coach up a lot, but this one looks like it's regular price. Just hanging here, so color red. I mean, it might uh, might be good for Valentine's Day, but it's very clean. Actually, let's open it up. Let's look on the inside just to make sure, but the leather exterior looks really clean. Um, 55 and I have to, I'll put comps on the screen because I, I don't remember what the style number was, but this is clean on the inside and it is a really, even the handles, like everything looks, looks clean, minimal use, even the edges here look pretty good. I'm grabbing this, it is a nice bag and at $55, that's probably going to be close to my average sales price, which was for 2023, $60. So it kind of fits the bill, but this is clean. I'm taking it. This store right now thinks all of the Yeti tumblers are worth $25,000. So this Mark 9, and one of the things I try to tell people when you're looking up Yetis is, you know, your, the color matters, especially discontinued ones. I don't know if this this one is discontinued. I think it was sandstone pink. I've, I've got to, I'll put comments on the screen. I don't remember exactly, but if it is sandstone pink or it started with an S, I think that color is discontinued, but it looks like these in the 26, this is a 26 ounce Rambler tumbler. I think I can sell this for 35. So even at $9, that's not, that's not too bad, but my stores are marking up Yeti where this should probably be marked more than marked around $5. Well, who am I to tell you what, what you, what you're supposed to charge or what you should be charging or not. At any rate, all the um, Yetis that you find, the color does matter. So if this was a color that was like readily available, I don't know if $9 would be worth it because it probably only sell for 20 or so all things considered, but this color, I think is one that's harder to find. It's got a little bit of a mark right there, but I don't think that's a problem. So I'm still gonna grab it at nine bucks. All right, I grabbed this Dutch oven. And at first glance, I don't know if you can see this. It does say made in the USA. And then it's like DO. I can't really make out what this is. So I looked at the comparables because it doesn't look like there's a maker's mark anywhere. And it looks like it is a vintage lodge cast iron. Dutch oven. That's at least what I think it is, just at first glance. And so what the price I have on it is $13. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Unfortunately, I think the price ranges very pretty considerably. So it's not a slam dunk as far as what I'm going to end up pricing it for, assuming I'm going to buy it, which I think I am. So at $13, I see a lot of them selling for 50, but I see a lot of them selling for less than that. So you know, if you were trying to gauge a, if this was Lodge, the best I think you could do is go on what other people's listings say, because I can't tell off the bat here. Normally, there's a big Lodge mark on the bottom, right? 
but I don't see that here. So I think it's vintage, I think it's Lodge, and I think I'm gonna price it at $65. It does have to be clean. This is just dirt. So I'll give it maybe a very light seasoning and then we'll list it for 65. It's very heavy, but stuff like this, I mean, I can fit this in a 12 by 12 by nine priority box and get it shipped out. Um, maybe I'll use something a little bit sturdier than that, but $65 I think is would be will be where I'm gonna price it at. I know that's gonna be on the higher end, but if I'm gonna pay 13, I think I would rather be in the 60, $70 range as opposed to like paying, you know, five, $6, and then maybe I could list it for 50, but 65 is where this is gonna land. Okay, if you are a software seller, you're gonna have to help me with this. I tend to pass up on a lot of these. So this is, and I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. It's Adobe Photoshop CS3, I think it's for the Mac. Is it for Mac? No, it's for Windows. Well, anyway, I scanned this UPC code and it looks like one for Macintosh sold for $40 on December 31st. The thing that trips me up is the use of the serial number. So assuming that the serial number is in here and it's usually like on the inside of the CD, I haven't opened it yet. How many uses do you get before this is rendered like useless? I That's the thing that like, can you just use the serial number on every single device you upload it to? Or is there a finite number of times you can use it? I don't, it, that confuses me. And so I tend to put these back a lot of the times where this isn't, I mean, this doesn't even have a price on it. So I probably like two, $3 and selling it for 40 would be great. But what do you do in a situation where the serial number could potentially be used up too much? You know, I'm not going to download this. I, I think I have Photoshop already. I just pay for it yearly. Um, so this isn't, I don't think something that I would try to download and get working, but what do you do? Software sellers, if you guys are in the comments, let me know because I don't really know what I'm doing with this. And these are the types of things that I put down that I might, that I, maybe I don't have to. This is going to be the find of the day. It's my Halloween costume for next year. I just need the Michael Myers mask. Looking pretty good, huh? Look at this. It's a little tight. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Grab a uh, knife and a uh, mask, and we're we're good to go. What do you guys think? Can rock Michael Myers, Michael uh, Myers next year? I like it. Would you believe me if I told you that this Delta? I don't even know what this is. Tub, shower, knob, handle is worth sixty, seventy, even eighty dollars, brand new. It is. It's only going to cost me six dollars. These are the kinds of items that I love finding and i know that you folks that listen to me each video hear me say that often but it just is so true it's like if you can just focus on finding as many of these diamonds in the rough as we do some of the more obvious things like the things the obvious brands the brands that are like clearly valuable that everybody knows i think you can do really well just hammering out these so you know it's easy because in the back nobody is looking at this and going well you know we should be marking this at $25 six bucks price it and move it and if you're in an area that you know gets stuff out regularly relatively quickly I know some of you don't some of you are in areas where they really are just they're either slow or they just do not get good donations but this is the type of item that gives me hope every time I see it for the rest of you, even those of you that source in areas that are slow because they are out there. So if you're just, you know, willing to scan them and I just make it a force of habit to scan these basic items all the time, there's some really good value here. I mean, $60, $70 just for this thing, this is amazing. And it looks like the sell through rate, if you will, it's not a true sell through rate, but it looks like it sells consistently enough that I'll move it within 30 days. It's amazing find. All right, that's it for today. I have to take advantage of these wonderful conditions while I have them, super overcast, and I mean, it's chilly, but I have to do pictures now. So we're gonna talk about goals and macro goals and micro goals in the next one. But for now, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for taking the ride with me, Brennan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. That's all I've got for you. We'll see you in the next video.